So I ordered a couple of statues from the UK and they finally arrived and the seller threw in a lot of cool little gifts. This right here is kind of neat. I've never seen one of these before. They were all wrapped up really beautifully too. Just everything is done with a lot of care. I actually have a lot of fun with this. I could see someone going to town. Port of Entry Degaba official. Nice. Port of Entry Zone Authentic. So there was this. A little uh, tread pulp. This is really cool. I love these. I don't know if this is ruled or not. Unruled. So, I wouldn't be able to really do journal because I can never keep my writing straight. Been drawing again, so it's uh, it smells good. It smells like a library. And I got this right here. And drills we trust. Hey, so I can't get over this. I might send this to my brother. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's go for the DR and Quench statues.
these were sculpted by Robert Harrop. He does like a lot of those little dog, cowboy statues, a uh, little bric-a-brac. Um, little statues. But he also did some work for 2008. I first saw this on the show. Mm, what's it called? IT group. So this is going to be DR. Kind of hard to pop open. Really nice wrapping job of seller it is, but cool then to try to make it special. If you're in the UK, you really do well to get these because those the statues themselves were really affordable. It was more so the shipping that cut into it. share of these right now. Okay. Um, so yeah, this seller, I'll give you their name because they're really nice. Uh, they knew shipping was going to be expensive because they did this thing where, uh, you know, they worked with eBay and they, they sent the stuff to eBay to delegate the deal. Uh, the seller is Shay underscore Cam. That's S-H-E-I underscore C-A-M-P. And Shay Cam has a lot of 2000 AD stuff. This is going to be PR. some luck with the safety pin. Okay, got my little kit here. So. Okay. Ah. Oh, got a heat stuff. Is the wrong kind of ASMR. Oh god. Uh, okay. 
you. Well, there's really no turning back on this, is there? Mm. Oh, boy. I'm going to pause this. Wow, that was really involved. Uh, they packed it great, so I know it's going to be delicate. Back in there. Oh my god, this is beautiful. What the heck? This is unreal. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Better than I even thought it was gonna be. Um, feels like really heavy material. Wow. <sighs> okay, that was just a lot of work. I think I think there's a chance that quench is going to be easier. I'll get back to you on that though. Okay, before I forget, these are the little cards that come in the boxes. I'll go ahead and read it. I'm up for it. Oh, they're each different? Let me see. If they're different, I won't read them, but if they're the same. Okay, they're the same, I'll read them. How about this? I'll hold one right here for you, and then I'll, I'll read one myself, so I don't have to read through the camera. Okay. Teenage delinquency on a catastrophic scale with a flagrant disregard for law and morality. They are the scourge of society, the embodiment of anarchy, spawning and nourishing sin with every foul and deprived intent. This can best describe writer Ellen Moore and artist Ellen Davis's chaotic characters DR and Quinch, heavily armed college students with a penchant for violence of unimaginable depths. The anarch, the, oh, that's a little tricky to say. The anarchic, the anarch, I'm just going to say the Antarctic. Okay. The duo first appeared in Prague 317 of 2000 AD comic back in the early 1980s. Their notorious exploits have included traveling back in time and influencing the course of Earth's history, not to mention some explosive designer work on its geography, doing community service for the rehabilitation of dangerous ex-servicemen, getting drafted to fight in the Goyogi slime jungles, and directing a film on a planet coincidentally, coincidentally called Hollywood. It is with no great surprise then that DR and Waldo, DR Dobbs stands for Diminished Responsibility. 
Beautiful. Okay. So let's unveil clinch. He's a lot bigger. It's almost like comparing Rocket with Groot. Yeah, I just, oh. Tissue paper and foam inlays and I uh, just, oh my god, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to put these back. And obviously I'm keeping the boxes and all the stuff inside. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you're in the UK, you got to look up Shea underscore camp. These are only 35 pounds a piece. And I bought I bought a set. They were listed as uh, the last ones, but that seller put more up. So you, if if shipping's not a big problem, because you're already there, I would really I would really get some. Oh wow! Okay, how's that in there? I'm gonna leave that on for now. It's protecting those tentacles. I can't, I can't do both. Oh my gosh, but these are amazing. I wish I bought an extra set, but Google would not help with, or not Google, eBay would not combine shipping these are the most amazing things I've ever seen in statue form. Rebellion. Wow. Um, so I'm not distorting they're sizing to one another. They're heavy too. Uh, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen these in the states before. Okay, so the line is called Rebellion. Robert Harrop is the artist sculptor from Alan Davis's designs from Alan Moore's concept. This is the narrator of the story, Quench. Narration is handled through him. And here's DR. This what's a rockabilly pompadour. So he, um, his name, DR, is an acronym for diminished responsibility, we learned. Alright, well I'm going to have to baby these. Wish me luck in keeping these the way they are. I'm going to have to um, find a spot just to put them. Maybe put a dome over them so they don't collect dust. Yeah, if you're in the UK and you, you like DR and Quinch, um, 70 pounds for the pair. And wow. Uh, Wow, I mean, really, these are incredibly cool. They're so cool, I actually, like, have nerves about them. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to leave that on for now. It's really in there. There's so many little noodle-like pieces that are just... They're just on there. It makes me realize that I was so apprehensive about Wolverine's claws on my Sam Keith statue that I had no idea. But I think it's like it's like pewter or something. I don't I'm not positive exactly what the composite is. Uh 
I'm just gonna treat it like fine china and and just pray it works out. I am so happy to have found these. I would do international searches every time I would think of this would be my go-to. 2080 statues, Robert Harrop. Um, and they finally came up from O2. Anyway, I want people to be able to see this. Thanks for putting up with uh, the unwrapping. Um, they're really worth it. And thank you to the seller for this cool stuff. I really, I really think you should check out this seller. Uh, let me do that person a service of actually. Oop. Yeah, let me just write it, write it out what it is. So if you have a chance of getting these and, and not paying a lot for shipping, I envy you because it's a good deal. Okay, she underscore camp. Yeah, like I said, there were there were more. Uh, brand new in box, so mine. Mine will no longer be new in box, but one day I might have to put them back in the box, which I'm not looking forward to. These little gremlin ears and these Sonic the Hedgehog long shoes and the shrapnel from the blast. This thing right here, this space creature, all of that up in there. Oh, yeah. Everything that makes these so amazing and beautiful is also what's making them so delicate and uh, blood pressure raising. But I guess that's it, you know? Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, look at those eyes. Holy moly. All right, take care.